What's up guys, in this video I want to show y'all how I run my SaaS and my SMMA agency using Go High Level. This video is going to cover how my snapshot works together with the automations, the website, the calendars, the pipeline, the funnels, everything inside of my agency snapshot which you can access for free down below this video. But you'll definitely want to stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see how the snapshot all works together so that it makes more sense when you import it into your Go High Level account. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps out my channel and I'll keep giving you guys more free content just like this video. All right guys, so right now I'm inside of my sub account that has my snapshot inside of it and everything inside of my snapshot inside of my agency runs around the website right here. And so I'm gonna click right here to my agency website and I'm gonna show you guys the template of it right now. So this is the snapshot version of my website. Obviously you'd put your logo here and change some things around. But basically we have a basic homepage that goes over some info about the software. And then we have a book a demo page right here where people can go and they can book a demo right on our calendar to check out the software or they can check out our social media marketing services if you're an SMMA. And then we have a tab right here called consultation where somebody can go through and they can get a free marketing consultation if they complete this survey right here that has some questions about their business. And so everything in my snapshot kind of revolves around this website. So remember these things, you get this website template in my snapshot if you guys wanna use it. If you don't wanna use my website template here, you can build out something similar. But those are like the three main tabs that I'll have. I don't like to have a ton of tabs on my websites just cause it confuses people and overwhelms them. It's really good to have like a simple, just like three or four different pages that people can click through on your website. So jumping back to go high level i'm just going to go down to the automations that i built out and i use seven different automations here for my business mainly the first six the seventh one down here is a list reactivation campaign it's really just for if you have a huge list of old leads you can import them into go high level and run a reactivation campaign to try to spark back like old business. But the ones that I use on a day to day are one through six right here. And so I'm just going to start with number one. So this first automation right here is tied to the survey inside of my website. So if somebody goes in and they go to the consultation tab and they submit this survey right here and they answer all the questions, I think it has like 15 questions on it, asking about different things inside of their business. And then if they complete this, they'll put in their name, email and phone number at the end and hit submit and that will fire off this automation right here. So the survey submitted is the marketing audit survey on the website, and then it will update them in the pipeline stage to new lead. So it'll create a new lead in our pipeline, and then it'll send me an internal notification. Um, it'll email this to me, and it'll give me all of the answers that they responded on that survey. So I can have an email that I can reference and say, you answered this way or you answered this way and this is something we can help you with since you said no to this question and so it'll just give me all their answers that they answered on that survey on the website and then it'll wait 30 seconds and so we have a 30 second wait period here and then it will send them an email and this email will say hey john you know thanks for taking part in our business marketing survey we would be happy to show you how we can help your business and then it pastes a link in here to our free marketing consultation calendar so that they can book that free marketing consultation with us. And then we also send them a text message with the same offer with the link to our calendar where they can just book that free marketing consultation. And then it'll wait two minutes. So we wanna really stay on top of them. So if they don't respond to this first email or this first text within two minutes, we are going to then automate a call to them. So it'll call me first. If I answer, great, then it'll try to dial the lead. If they answer, awesome, I'll try to book that marketing consultation over the phone. If they don't answer, then it'll send them a voicemail and you can upload your voicemail right here. That's something you'll need to make sure to go in if you're using my snapshot is upload your own voicemail right here in this step of the automation. And then if they haven't booked within one day, we will send another follow-up email and a follow-up text message trying to get them to book again and saying, hey, let's jump on that free marketing consultation. Here's the link. And so that's how this first automation works right here. The only thing you'll need to do if you're using my snapshot is you'll need to make sure to go in here and you'll need to go to the messages. So anytime there's a text or an email message, this email right here, you'll need to paste in your calendar link right here for the free marketing consultation calendar. And you'll need to do that for the text as well. To get this free marketing consultation calendar, it'll be already inside of the snapshot. So you'll just go back and then you'll go into calendars and then you'll go up to the calendar settings and then you'll go to where it says free marketing consultation calendar. So we have two different calendars people can book on to check out our software. We've got the free marketing consultation calendar, which is the one we're gonna be sending in that automation that I just showed you. And then we've got the marketing software demo calendar, which is the one underneath the book a demo tab on our website. So we have two different calendars that we use just to kind of keep things separate. This one right here, the marketing software demo calendar, 
and then the free marketing consultation is separate because there's going to be some people that are just going to go right to your website and they just want to book a call they want to book a demo and they didn't complete the survey and then there's some people that are going to be interested in that free marketing consultation so they complete the survey and so that's why we have two different calendars here but anyway to get the free marketing consultation link you're just going to click this right here then you're going to copy the scheduling link right here and then you can go back in and you can go down to the automation and you can paste that link in um, and you'll paste it. I have it in my snapshot in parentheses right here. So you'll just replace this and you'll paste that link in right here. And uh, you can make it a link so you can click this and uh, you can actually just paste it in there. And then you could just say like book here or something like that and then hit save and it'll just have a button in the email that says book here. And it'll take them right to your calendar where they can book that free marketing consultation. You'll do the same thing in the text message as well. So in this text message, you'll just delete this and you'll paste in the link. You can't do the same thing with the links in the emails like you can in the text. You can just put the pure link right here and uh, save that. So that's how the first automation works to help us run our business. Now we're just gonna go to the second one right here, appointment booked, and uh, we can see how this one works. This is just if somebody goes straight to our website and they book a demo right here on the marketing software demo calendar. We have an automation right here that triggers off the appointment status being confirmed and then we have remove from all workflows. So we basically wanna remove them from any other workflows, any other automation, so we don't keep hitting them up if they end up booking. And so we start out with that. Then we update them to the booked stage in our pipeline so that they automatically move to that stage. Then we have a confirmation email, which says, you know, hey, thanks for booking your appointment for this date at this time. Um, here's the Zoom link. And that's something you'll need to go in in this email and in this text message. You'll need to paste in your Zoom link right here, which you can just get a permanent Zoom link from your Zoom account. It's under your profile tab in your Zoom account. You can just use the same Zoom link for every call. That's what I do. You just want to paste that in right here. Same thing for this text message. You're going to paste your Zoom link in here so that they have that readily available when they jump on the call. And then we have a 30 minutes before the appointment wait step. So it basically waits 30 minutes before the appointment and uh, then it will send them another email with the zoom link again so make sure to paste your zoom link in right there and then also a text message right here make sure to paste the zoom link in there again so anytime there's like an outbound communication so text email voicemail things like that you need to make sure to put in and customize those for your own business um, because my snapshot obviously leaves those broad so that you can paste those in there yourself and then we've got a wait step for five minutes after the appointment. So five minutes after the appointment happens, we're going to send ourselves an internal notification and it's going to be an email. And this email is going to give us three different options. So after five minutes, after that appointment starts, we'll either know if that person showed up to the appointment. If they didn't show up, then we'll probably know within five minutes of the start time. If they don't show up within five minutes, they're probably not going to show up most likely. If they do show up, we have that email waiting in our inbox. So if 30 minutes go by and we have the demo with that person, we will know one of these three answers. We'll either know if they showed up and purchased, we'll know they showed up but didn't purchase, and then they didn't show. So based on what happens in the appointment with that person, we'll then go in and check our email and it'll say, how did the appointment with John Smith go? And this makes it super easy. Literally, all you have to do is click the link of what happened in that call, and then it'll fire off one of our other automations, our automations three through six. So depending on if you click this one, this one, or this one, another automation will fire off. And uh, that's what's happening further down here. So we're gonna wait for the trigger link to be clicked and these are all trigger links. So you as the agency owner can click on one and it'll trigger off a certain event. So if they showed and paid, it'll add them to our onboarding workflow. Um, if they showed but they weren't ready to buy, so they showed up, they were you know, interested, they weren't ready to buy quite yet, it'll add them to our long-term nurture workflow. And then if they didn't show at all, it'll add them to our no-show workflow and so that's how this automation works. You don't need to change anything here. The only things you need to change in this one are the uh, Zoom links that you send out. And you'll just have to go into your email after and choose one of these links of what happened on that call. And so that was the second one that I just went over. The third one is identical. It's if they book on the free marketing consultation calendar. So this one just, I separated it into another workflow just to like keep the two calendars separate. So we know, okay, this person booked for a free marketing consultation. So we have to kind of go into the call knowing that and have their email ready with all the answers that they gave on that survey so we can talk more about it. 
And then we have some people that just booked right on our demo calendar. They just want to see the software. And so I created two different automations, but this one's identical to the second one. Um, and we have the confirmation email. Make sure again, you put your uh, Zoom link in there. The same for this text message right here. Um, 30 minutes before the appointment, they'll get another text and another email. So make sure to put your Zoom link in here again. Um, and then five minutes after the call, you're gonna get an email. It'll come right into your email inbox and then you can click whatever happened on that call. And then once you click, it'll go down one of these different branches depending on the link that you clicked. And then depending on what link you clicked from the email from these two different automations, it'll send our lead into one of these three right here, four, five, and six. So if you clicked that they didn't show up at all, it'll put them in automation four right here. And so these next three automations, they don't even have a trigger event because they don't need one. We already trigger them off of clicking that link. And so it'll just send them right into these workflows. And so this one is if they did not show up. So we've got our no show nurture automation right here. It'll remove them from any other workflows that they're in. It'll update them to no showed in our pipeline. And then we will send them an email and a text message. And this email will send them a link to our calendar. So make sure to paste the marketing software demo calendar link right in here so that they can book another time to talk with you guys about the software. And then you can also send them an email that also gives them the link where they can reschedule to the call. If you wanted to to this one, you could add a wait step and send out another text a day later after like 24 hours. But but for this example, we'll just leave it at these first two and give them an email and a text and to give them a chance to reschedule. But if they don't, then they're probably not interested. Now we're going to jump down to automation number five. They showed, but they're not ready. So this is more of like a follow up kind of automation. So it'll send them directly in when we click they showed but not ready on that email that sends to us after the call. So this one will remove them from all other workflows. It'll update them to the showed slash follow-up stage in our pipeline, and then it'll wait three days. So it'll give them three days. And then after three days, we will follow up with an automated text that says, Hey John, this is, you know, Jasper with advanced selling systems. Again, just had a quick minute to text you back and wanted to see if you decided on using our automation software to help grow your business, just kind of following up with them. Usually what I found after a call, if they don't want to buy right away, they tell me to follow up with them in a few days. And so I've just automated that and given them three days. And so when I'm on the call with them, I'll usually just say, hey, I'll follow up with you in a few days and see if this is something that you guys are wanting to do. You know, you could talk with your business partner, your spouse, whoever they need to talk to. They always say they need to talk to somebody. And uh, then I'll send them this automated text and an automated email. And uh, so based on their response right here, we're going to wait one day, give them 24 hours to respond to these to see if they're wanting to move forward. And then right here, I have an internal notification that will send to you. It'll be an email, just kind of like on those other automations that sends an internal email to you. And then the email right here says, did John Smith buy after following up three days later? And now we have two other trigger links that we can click. Yes, they bought or not interested. Because usually after giving them a few days, they're either going to tell you, yes, we want to do it or no. So there's really only two options for this one. And if you click, yes, they bought, it'll send them into the onboarding automation, which will be the next one we look at. And then if they click not interested, it'll remove them from all of our workflows. And then automation number six right here, SaaS new user sign up. This is the one that we want. This is the one where we click, they showed up and they bought. So it'll send them into this workflow. It'll remove them from all the other workflows so that we don't keep hitting them up with other text and emails that don't pertain to them. It'll update them to the bought stage in our pipeline. They purchased the software, they bought the software. It'll send an internal notification text to me or to you as the agency owner. So it'll send you a text saying, congrats, you have a new sign up name, John Smith, make sure their account is set up and ready for them to log in. And then you have a text that sends to the client saying, hey, John, welcome to the advanced selling system software, blah, blah, blah. Please complete this onboarding form so we can set up your accounts. And then right here, you'll want to paste in a link to a form, which is in my snapshot. I'll show you that right now. So we'll go back out of here. We'll go down to the sites tab and then we'll go up to forms and form builder. And then right here, we've got this showed and purchased form. And so we want our client to complete this form so we can have all the info that we need to set up their account fully. We ask for full name, business email, cell phone number, business address, company name, website link, and their time zone, and they can hit submit. But anyway, we came here so that we could get the link for this form so we can put it in that initial onboarding text that we send to them. So we can click integrate form right here and we can copy the form link by clicking right here and then done. And then we can jump back into our automation. This is for you guys for this snapshot. If you're using my snapshot, you'll definitely need to do this. 
and uh, you'll just go into this number six automation right here where the welcome text was at and uh, you can paste in the link to that form right there so they have it right there on the text in their phone so they can complete that form for you and you can finish setting up their account completely for them and then i also say make sure to download our lead connector mobile app at the link below um, so they can download that app on iphone or android so we have both options and both links just in case they have either or um, cell phones and then we also sent you an email with your account login info um, but wait until we have our onboarding call to log into your account so we just want to make sure we set up their account before they log in um, and uh, that email will send to them as soon as we create their sub account it'll send them their login username and password so that they can log in and um, yep so basically that's everything and then we'll send them the link to our client onboarding calendar that's where they can book a call to jump on like a 30 to 45 minute zoom call with us we can show them inside of their brand new account that we've set up for them and so you'll just paste the link to that calendar right here which will be back under our calendars tab under the calendar settings and then right here we can grab the link to the client onboarding calendar so those are the three calendars that i use for my business Got that marketing software demo, free marketing consultation. And then for when people actually buy, that's when we use the client onboarding calendar for our paying clients to do an onboarding call. And so you can just copy the scheduling link right there. And then we can jump back down to our automations and uh, go down to the number six for the user sign up. And um, in that welcome text, we can make sure to paste the link right there. So you'll want to make sure to do that, paste that calendar link in. Um, and then the welcome email as well, it says something similar, you know, tells them where they can log in at. So we send them our white label domain. So you want to make sure to paste your white label domain here. Mine's like app.advancedsellingsystems.com, but yours will be app.whatever your business name is.com. That's where your clients will log in at. Um, whenever you create their sub account, it'll automatically send them username and password in a separate email. So you don't need to put that in this email right here. Um, but anyway, it just prompts them to schedule that onboarding call or we look forward to, you know, our onboarding call or whatever that they'll, they'll schedule in this text right here down at the bottom in that link. Um, and then we'll wait one day and then we'll send them a review request so we can send them a link to give us a Google review. Um, hopefully if they enjoyed working with us, like the onboarding and everything. And so that's pretty much everything. And like I said, the seventh automation down here for list reactivation, that's more if you have a huge list of leads that you haven't talked to in a while and it'll send them a text messages and do basically do a text campaign trying to get them to reel them back in and, and purchase your software or your social media marketing agency services. Well, there you have it, guys. That's exactly how I run my SaaS and SMMA agency in Go High Level. Everything I showed you in this video is encompassed in my snapshot. You can get access to that for free down below. All you have to do is click on the link and it'll ask you to import it into your Go High Level account. If you don't have Go High Level yet, you can get a 30 day free trial at my affiliate link below. If you sign up with that link, it helps me out a ton and I can give you free one on one help in return. And so please feel free to sign up there below. And then also, if you're looking to start a SaaS or a social media marketing agency and you have no idea where to start, you can get access to my free masterclass down below. It shows you how to set up everything inside of your Go High Level account. And it just shows you how to run a successful SaaS and SMMA agency. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys sticking through to the end of this video. I love you all and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.